What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about ASO and more specifically, how you can find those valuable keywords to help grow your app downloads. So it's no secret that the App Store is a highly competitive place. There are literally millions of apps trying to rank for the same keywords that you are going for. And like I said, it's harder to try and rank for those more common keywords. So what I found works now is that you have to go after the long tail keywords, the ones that are not so common. And the only problem is that they are a lot harder to find because there are so many combinations of words to put together and you want to find ones with decent um, search volume and also that aren't so hard to rank for. So back in the day, I used to do a lot of SEO work which stands for search engine optimization. And what I would do is I would rank websites on Google and with the aim of getting them on the first page for those search terms um, and getting uh, those uh, all that organic traffic that goes along with it. So SEO and ASO are not so different. There were a time where internet marketers faced the same problem as we indie app developers are facing now, where it was really hard to find keywords to rank for because um, yeah, the internet just became so competitive with um, millions of websites and everyone's going up the same keywords. So what what happened was there was they started to go after long tail keywords. And instead of say, if you have a solitaire game, instead of going for solitaire, you would try find a longer tail keyword like best solitaire game 2021. Now, these keywords, like I said before, are a lot harder to rank for. And I want to share with you guys um, one specific tool that I use to when I'm kind of stuck on ideas, I go and I use um, Apple search ads to actually help me find these longer tail keywords, which are actually easier to rank for than the more common keywords. So let's dive into my computer and I will show you how it works. So here we are in my Apple search ads dashboard. Now, the great thing about Apple search ads is that besides helping you to find new keywords, it also helps you to find high converting keywords to bid on if you do actually uh, run any user acquisition campaigns on with Apple search ads. So that's just another benefit for this. But for this video, we will just be focusing on finding those long tail keywords. Okay, so what you want to do is go to the create campaign button. Okay, and then we're just going to select one of my games. We'll just, uh, let's go with Solitaire. Okay, and you just want to select search results. We will go for United States as a target country. Click continue. Okay, we'll just uh, type in a bid. Otherwise it won't allow us to go to the next tab. And once you're down here under the keyword section, you want to click on add keywords to an ad group. And on the left over here, it's gonna, it's gonna give you some recommendations. Okay, so basically we want to find those longer tail keywords um, with decent search volume. So if you can see on the right here, popularity, um, it's got these little dots and I would go for anything that's got two or more dots. I mean, you can also even go for the one dots, but um, considering that the keyword fields are limited, we really want to get those juicy, um, more high volume keywords. So here we can see skills, um, but like I said, we want the longer tail keywords. Here's one solitaire VIP win big cash. Um, however, it's only got one dot. So we'll scroll down. And basically you want, like I said, you want those longer tail keywords, three or more words and with at least two dots on the popularity. Okay. So here's one which we could go for. Uh, win real money games. So there's probably not that many uh, games or apps with that specific title. 
um, in the in the title of of the app or the subtitle so that would be a good one to go for and you would just write these ones down and let's check if we have any if we can find any more slots win real money however solitaire and slots it's it's a big difference so what's important also you want um the keywords to be related to your your game and this um this just helps with the conversion rate and um yeah so things to think about long tail keywords uh decent popularity and it must be relatable to your app just for the conversion if you were to um, rank for those uh, specific keywords you want to convert those impressions to installs at the end of the day so once you have your list of long tail keywords you then want to update your app um, your app's keywords with those uh, specific keywords especially you want to experiment with the title and the subtitle because those um, those have the most weight when it comes to ranking keywords on the app store so like i said guys it's a patient game you have to experiment and um yeah just eliminate the ones that aren't working uh, give them a couple weeks uh, to see if you have any increase in downloads um, if not then just change them up a bit hey so it's not an exact science sometimes you do need a little bit of luck but uh, you can always create that luck by doing a bit of research and selecting the right keywords for it. Uh, this has been my approach and this is how I generate over 30,000 downloads per month organically without doing any paid user acquisition. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please smash that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I will share some insights um, from my own experience and how I grew my game studio um yeah so i hope it helps you guys i will see you on the next one stay safe and peace out